Many people have asked us just how easy it is to set up for a social broadcast. Or, is it easy to webcast to Facebook Live or YouTube? In this short video clip, we will take away the mystery and show you just how, with three easy steps, you will be a webcasting wizard. To manually stream to a content delivery network, CDN for short, or a social media platform such as Facebook Live, we will first set up our Monarch HDX encoder to stream RTMP. RTMP is just a techie term which simply means real-time messaging protocol, a protocol for sending audio and video over the internet. Other than impressing your friends with that factoid, you will never really need to know that again. We will select one of the available presets with the encoding resolution of 1280 by 720. This is the resolution that will be sent to your CDN. This is important because if you spent the bundle on a good HD camera, the last thing you want to do is send your CDN a non-high def resolution. I chose 1280 by 720 but could have easily chosen 1920 by 1080. Now we will set the encoding bitrate. Let's go with a bitrate of 4000 kilobits or 4 megabits a second. A good rule of thumb is to test your upload speed and target your encoding bitrate to no more than 80% of your test results. This will provide a great live webcast experience for your viewing audience. In this video, we are only going to be targeting one platform, but we could easily enable the second encoder to target a second CDN or platform. By simply repeating the steps in this video for the second encoder's target platform, like YouTube. To stream to Facebook Live, you will need to retrieve from your account the stream URL and stream key. You can think of the stream URL as the link to your Facebook page, and the stream key as being the master key to allow a live stream to be broadcasted on your page. Log in with your credentials to retrieve these from your Facebook account. Once logged in, click Live Camera, then Connect. Then, you need to select Stream Key. Here you have two options, Secure Connection and Persistent Stream Key. Selecting the Persistent Stream Key will allow you to retain both the Stream Key and URL for future broadcasts. If you choose the other option, you will have to enable that selection for every one of your future broadcasts. You won't need to change anything in your Monarch HDX command center. Now copy this server URL and paste that into your Monarch HDX Command Center's encoding settings. We will now need to go back to Facebook and copy the stream key and paste that into your Monarch HDX Command Center's encoding settings and hit apply. Once the Monarch HDX is finished applying the new encoding parameters, you simply hit start within the Monarch HDX command center. And then when you go back to your Facebook page, you will see a video preview of your live stream. Before going live on Facebook, you need to select on the right hand side where you want to post your broadcast. Here we selected share on your timeline. When you are ready, you can then select to go live on Facebook Live. To learn more about Matrox Monarch HDX, please visit our website.